Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dimitri channel. Today we're actually gonna be trying running Debian, which is a Linux, on uh, Apple M1 Silicon platform. And I'm really, really excited about it because I just used it for like an hour, I just installed like an hour ago, and I feel like really, like, this is like really, really great. This is very powerful, very fast and very nice. So I'm gonna be running this one in the Parallels, which is a solution for running virtual machines on your computer. And uh, for the Apple Silicon, they actually recently released the version like technical preview version, which you can install and load from the official website. And you can actually run the ARM virtual machines on your computer. So in this case, it's a Debian compiled for running on ARM. There's actually not much other solutions available, only like Parallels and also QEMU. But for QEMU, you actually need to configure it manually. There are some mm, there are some more customizations that you need to do basically to run your images. So I just selected this Parallels option. But if you like to just like try other options, then try QEMU. The virtual box is not available unfortunately for the Apple uh, M1 silicon um, chips so this one is a good option for now so this is the option for emulating your virtual machines there's also an option for emulating like Windows applications directly which is like crossover option right here a crossover is basically like uh, an application um, layer that you can install on your computer and basically run Windows application here it's not even the emulation but for now we're gonna be trying the Debian basically let's go ahead and try this all right so it starts up I'm gonna select this right here and just see like how fast actually it is just like it's already started it's finished let me type my credentials Ooh, that's how it looks like it says running in software rendering mode which basically is supposed to mean that it's actually not running in the full speed like GPU is not really used much here but I think like the speed is actually really really nice and let me actually prove it to you because if you open uh, this menu and that I installed Chromium right here like you go to Debian website and it actually works really really well it just flies I mean it's very fast let's say you try YouTube and and uh, for example, so when we open the video, it actually renders just fine. It works fine. Unfortunately, there is no sound for some reason in this virtual machine. I just need to figure out how it works and just to change it to configure it. And it's going to be working just fine. I'm pretty sure. And the Firefox, of course, Firefox is also available compiled for ARM. For example, if we type something like this, Nomadic Dimitri, let's say in the Google, <laughs> it just shows my channel and all other stuff. Let's open the terminal actually for all the fun stuff. So it's called Terminator. I actually installed on Debian. Uh, it's not available by default. You need to install it separately, but that's fine. And let's launch MC, Midnight Commander. It's really, really fast. And the uh, desktop environment I'm using right here is a Cinnamon, but you can actually go ahead and install any environment that you like because Debian is very customizable in that sense. You can install whatever you want. And when I type htop, let's see how it goes. So it says 500 megabytes are only used. So I just allocated two gigabytes of RAM for this virtual machine. But as you can see, it just flies with that. I mean, it works really, really well. Well, I also installed the Crusader file manager, Crusader, this is how it looks like. It's actually running much faster than my previous laptop, which was Lenovo E495. You can actually see two videos ahead about Lenovo. I mean, it was bleh, not that good. It actually works really well. And of course, you can use sudo apt uh, update, let's say. All this Debian kind of goodies are available right here. I'll package this up today, so it's all good. Uh, we can go here and open, for example, LibreOffice Writer. So please subscribe to my channel home folder all good all available and just running just fine oh actually one more thing how about we type your name command and see it actually highlights that this is the arm 64 platform not the x86 guys so it, it works really really well i would say so all the goodies that you have in your typical debian installation i write here all the games of course and everything in scape how about that how about to open this? I mean, it flies, it works, I don't know, just like super fast. What about Thunderbird? I'm amazed by the speed, actually. All those apps are available right here and you can install more. Dustbox, Dustbox just flies. I mean, it's all really, really good, guys. I like it, I'm gonna use it more and just like customize it more. How about we just shut it down? and just like one second or something and we basically done with it yeah guys i mean it's really powerful i'm actually looking for more stuff uh, from apple and from parallels and from all the third party because this is like the platform of the future actually i was skeptical for wrong reasons and i think it's actually going in, in the right direction i mean there is no doubt about it it's gonna kick x86 in many ways in many many ways i don't know about intel they actually screwed <laughs> they just need to innovate finally intel needs to innovate so that's 
that's how it goes guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe for more we're actually gonna, gonna be discussing more about the arm 64 platform m1 chips apple silicon and all that so it's actually gonna be more videos i'm gonna be trying more parallels and the crossover stuff just basically to emulate either a windows or linux or just running games i actually tried running games in uh, from the steam library using the crossover it's kind of okay i ran into some problems but actually i'm gonna talk about it in the next videos so thank you for watching and bye bye and please please subscribe and hit the like button all right thank you guys